everyone. So, um, I, my thing is falling over. I am trying to get this in a good spot. Okay. So I already started on this, um, because I wasn't sure how to make it happen. So I actually got really far on my own. Um, there's a few things that I want to do still. So I wanted to go ahead and go live. Um, this is, uh, kind of wasn't exactly what I was going for. I thought I was going to put it on a grapevine. Um, but these, uh, magnolias, I just thought were so beautiful. And that was my inspiration. So this is actually on, um, sticks in the back. And then I put the, uh, the white here is like white pine, um, as just like a little extra something to have to try and <clears throat> uh, give the uh, swag, I guess this would be called, some uh, substance so that when I um, started adding all of this other stuff that um, it would look cohesive. So this is as far as I've gotten so far. Um, so I have like these white rattan um pumpkin picks that I think may have come from a dollar store of some sort at one point. <clears throat> so, excuse me, I have two of those in. And right now I just have two magnolias, but I'm going to put a, a third one in. And then I have these two uh, really pretty pumpkins. And I was going to put ribbon in it, but might not get any because it's really pretty full. Um, and I think it's pretty without it, but if I do ribbon, I would do it down here, I think, and have it hang. Um, but I also don't want to hide the sticks. I like the sticks. So, um, I was going to do it like this, uh, so it could be like over your door, but I think it still could be. Um, um, but I'm going with this angle now. So <clears throat> I want to do more down here. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to make sure that these cute little white, um, cute little white leaves don't get lost in all of this because I really like those. Um, so I may cut them out and replace them in, um, or, but see, I feel like if I do it like that, then it feels like it's forced. So I just, I'm going to keep going and it'll all fall into place. So now, um, I do have some really pretty ribbon. I've got glow strings all over me. I have some really pretty ribbon that I was thinking of putting in. Um, and then I also have this cute, um, gosh, I can never remember the name of this, but anyway, it's kind of like a, um, a pink and green vine. So I'm going to put some of that in as well. <clears throat> and then, you know, if I'm going to put another flower in, I feel like it's going to be maybe over here, uh, kind of like hanging off the side. So it would be, let's see. So kind of like that, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, I, I don't mind that. I actually like that. All right, so there's that. That's the thought on that. <clears throat> and then my ribbon. So I haven't made a bow yet because I'm not sure what I'm doing. But these were the colors and ribbon ideas I had. Um, whoops. So, um, there. uh, so this for sure is way too big and I was going to use it this four inch. Um, when I thought I was doing a, when I thought I was doing a grapevine wreath, but I am not doing that. So this is way too big. So it gets to go up. Bye bye. And then I am in love with this. It's got, it's kind of like a champagne -y color. Let's see if I turn off this light. 
yeah, so it's kind of like a champagne color and it's got all these jewels on it. So pretty fancy like that. Um, and I was thinking maybe this to pull out some of the darker colors in the, but this is too dark and it's not right. So that goes bye bye. And then the other ones that I pulled out, which I love, and I think either one would be fine. So we've got like a light pink velvet and then a slightly darker velvet. Does not see the color. So, but I feel like this darker one is the one I like the best. I mean, it almost completely matches that pumpkin. So that feels like the ribbon. And so I might just do maybe two-tone pink. I might just do um, like ribbon curls with this. So I'm not really sure. Um, I'm going to try. Uh, I'm going to try a small bow and see how it goes. Oops. Uh, gotta set my glue gun somewhere else. Move those. There we go. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to try this darker one and just do a small bow with it and see, oh my gosh, glue. I actually like went out in public with all this glue all over me. <laughs> all right. So I got to see here. So what my thought was is that if I'm going to do a bow, actually do it so if I'm gonna do a bow I'm thinking so let's just say I'm actually thinking a couple more loops but <clears throat> if I did a bow and placed it underneath this and just kind of have those peeking out I think I kind of like that and then I could put some ribbon tails kind of hanging out the side so, what do you think, Bob? You like my ribbon? <laughs> you guys can't see him. Hi. Yeah. He's confirming that the ribbon is soft. <laughs> so, um, actually, we had a fawn. And, hey, Mary. Uh, we had a fawn with spots still. And, uh, and um, the mama, um, who I call eyebrows but her summer fur no longer has eyebrows. So I'm hoping when she, <laughs> when she uh, comes back uh, with her fall or winter coat that her eyebrows come back because now people are thinking that I'm probably lying <laughs> that she had eyebrows. Uh, but her fur was funny, like around above her eyes and it made her look like she had eyebrows. <laughs> so, um, so anyhow, so she, they both came and I was like, oh my gosh, um, so of course I feel guilty. And so then I threw out some more cause they were trying to eat out of my bird feeder. And so I threw out some more bird food on the ground and I lost control of the bag and I nearly dr dumped the entire, um, the entire bag, like not really. So I don't know. I, but a lot of, <laughs> a lot of, uh, food came out and it was crazy. So I had this huge pile of food and they were eating it. But they left before it was gone. And I was like, ugh. Because I thought for sure maybe they would stay if they saw that there was all that extra, extra food out for them. But they did not. <laughs> so now I have all this food. So the raccoons are probably going to come. And it's going to be just... Everybody was kung fu fighting out there tonight. Right? <laughs> 
So, yeah, you approve? So this is the little guy that I came up with, but I don't know. <laughs> this is Bob Scratchit. So if you've never met him, he is my supervisor. Hey, off. Nope. Just trying to snack on some things here. All right, so I'm wondering, actually, if I should put this and just do it like this. That's what I'm thinking. Hey, stop it, Bob. Um, let's see here. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to attach this since this is kind of a, a different design than what I've done before. So I'm trying something new. Uh, in case you're just joining and you didn't hear that conversation. So, um, this is a, it's got like several sticks in the back. Um, and they're, they're all back there and they're tied together. And I like the sticks. Um, but I also, so I don't want to hide the sticks, but I'm trying to be careful and make sure that it stays balanced so that it doesn't come over more to this side <laughs> when you hang it. So stuff like this happens when you try something new um, sometimes. So then you gotta just figure it out. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna add a bow, so this could potentially come right out. Uh, especially because I have it so thick in here. I think I might need another little skinny zip tie. Um, but it's pretty thick through here. So, um, I am going to have to do some digging through here. So what I did was on top of the, the twigs, I added a piece of a white pine garland. I don't know where it's going. Um, to kind of give it a little um, substance so that when I um, started putting all the flowers in and things, that it wasn't just these sticks, that there was a little bit of something for it to work with. So. Um. I'll fix the bow once I get it in here. Okay. So I don't want that to get covered. So something like this, I'm wondering. And it could be that it's too much of one color. So I'm not really sure. up in there. Where is the zip tie? I lost the end. I'm sure this is not super exciting at the moment to be watching, but um, <laughs> the struggle is real. Right? So, what is the other piece? I have created a mess here. I don't know what I'm doing. So <laughs> I need to find the other little zip tie and shoot, I'm going to have to take this off. And this is not super exciting. I'm sure certain of it. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is find one of the other ends of the zip tie so I can tighten this up. Because now that I see it, I think if it's tight up underneath that magnolia blossom, that then the bow will look more like it belongs there instead of like an afterthought. And really, my intention was to add a bow in the first place. But because I wasn't sure how I was going to make this actual <laughs> design work on the twigs, I was like, well, I'm going to hold off on the bow because I don't know. So, I think that's kind of cute. So just a little something. 
and it doesn't take away from the pretty magnolia. So then, where are my scissors? Ugh, everything's on the floor because that's where I started. <laughs> that's where I started with this. It was on the floor. So, um, that's probably too skinny. So what I was thinking like to do on the sides is to just make some little ribbon curls maybe come down um, to mimic this. Uh, let's see. But since this ribbon has um, pretty backing, I'm going to turn the end out so you can see it. And then you'll be able to see it kind of in the little curly cues and in the ribbon. And this guy's already folded, so let's see. We can do like a little, a little guy with this one. There. So I'll pull it out like that. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Something like this. So, so far it's working, I think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Like it? I hope you like it. All right. So that's what I'm thinking. So now that I have that, I need to decide. I was thinking of putting that other magnolia right there, but I'm going to hold off on it because I would like to put some of these guys in. So what I was thinking with this was that it would be really pretty if, oh, let me cut this <laughs> zip tie off here. It's hanging out. Okay. And I thought it would be pretty. So the whole bush is like a vine. So I thought if I could like put it up underneath here and kind of have it hang down a little, I thought that'd be really pretty. So not just one piece, a few pieces. Let me see what I got here. So I unfortunately only have the one little bush. So I'm going to have to be creative on how I do this because I want to have some so I think I'm going to take so you can pull each branch off of the thing the overall thing so I think that might be the easiest way to attach these <laughs> it came off like a little fork um so yeah so then like some of these smaller ones would be pretty throughout Bob's back so, that's trash. Let me pull the little ones to the side. Hey, nope. Those are not snacks. So, Bob loves it when I'm in here because then he tries to figure out, I don't know if it's attention or what, but then he decides he'd like to snack on flowers and greenery. So, all right. So, I'm just trying to figure out what I got going here. So this is the longest guy. And so I think, so I don't think, oh, I guess maybe they're all the same length. Let's see. Yeah, those are all the same length. Okay, that's cool. So that's kind of middle of the road there. So what I was thinking is if um, I can do, I wonder, I'm trying to figure out how to put them in on the sides maybe. Um and just let it kind of hang down. So I'm just gonna kinda, kinda put these in and just see if that's distracting or I, mean, I gotta figure out how to get this to, and it could just be what I'm hanging this from. But yeah, so it's hanging straight. It's just, let me see. Uh, I need to bring you closer, I think, so you can see it better. Ah. Not closer to my face. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it does not want to cooperate. It's a little closer. Okay. Um, so I think that's okay. Let me turn this light off for a minute. I think it's all right. I like it. Because it kind of helps balance. Whoa. Helps balance. <laughs> uh, I am... 
having a malfunctioning stand. And it will not tighten. Uh, crooked. Hang on. I'll turn you upside down. Oh, there it is. Okay. Figured it out. Sorry. Sometimes you have to be smarter than the stand. Oh, but it's still not going to do it. Hmm. I might be fighting with this all night, and I'm sorry. Because it does not want to stay up. I keep trying to tighten it, but it's not doing it. Sorry, my face is right in the camera. <laughs> okay. I'm going to try a little bit closer. Crooked. Dang it. All right. I'm going to get it to a spot, and then I'm going to leave it alone. Hopefully. All right. So I do like that. Um, and then I'm thinking it would be cute if I had one of the little ones sticking out or smaller ones anyway. Um, let's see. Sticking out up here to, let's see, it's like flipped like that. So if I had, could put one that might be too long, but if I could put one, oh, that would be really cute. Down in there and in through some of that to tie it all together. So, hey, stop it. That is not for you. <laughs> uh, yes. Like I almost need somebody to come and be on cat duty to make sure that he doesn't attack all my things. Let's see. So, all right. So I'm thinking something like this, but now I think that's too long because it's not going to sit the way I want it to sit. You know, I want it to be open. Well, maybe if I do something like that. That's pretty cute. All right. So I'm going to place these. And uh, then I'm going to come back and glue them once I place them. Because I feel like this is kind of... Could be potentially not going to work. Um, so unless this one, no. I might glue this guy so that it hangs right there. That I think will work. All right, so like I said, figure it out as I go. <laughs> um, so I think that's kind of fun. I like that. So it just sticks out. Okay, that's cute. Um, Bob, nope over here. Here it is. And then I have this one long, last long guy, which if I could get it up underneath all of this that I just did. Let's see. So I think I can put it like up in here and then I'll intermingle it with the rest of that greenery. I think it's going to work. So when in doubt, clip it out. <laughs> so, but I do think it's going to work. I just got to find a little spot for it to attach. Okay. And then I can do ready there. I want it to kind of go down the middle. All right. So now I feel like I'm taken away from the sticks, but I think it's kind of cute. I could trim it if I don't like it, but all right. So I've got it there for now. I can always come back and uh, 
clip it a little shorter if I feel that it needs it. But I think once I get all these other things kind of commingled with it, I think it's going to be cute. So, like this guy. Okay. Something. And that. Excuse me. So I just ate dinner, so now that's why I'm like clearing my throat, all the things. <laughs> all right, that's pretty cute. That's pretty cute, I like it. So I'm gonna glue, take it off and glue this other piece in with my glue gun. Where do I have it? You get to see all of the inner workings there of all of this. So, and my goal is always to try to not glue my fingers because it hurts. Hey, big old imaginary glue string right there, Bob. All right, I like that, I like it, I like it, I like it. So, I feel like, oh, that's short. Okay, so this is my only next long one, everybody else is short, okay. So this guy then, I like the idea of it kind of coming out like that, so. I know for sure I like that. Ouch. Felt the glue. Got it on a leaf. So if you ever get glue on a leaf, you just wait for it to dry, and then you should be able just to pull it right off, no problem. Sometimes if you try to take it off when, oh my gosh. Oh, that's on you too, sorry. Oh, big old glue <laughs> string on the cat. Um, sometimes when you try to take it off, hmm, I'm gonna have to figure this out. I think that'll work. So, strategery. Um, but sometimes if you try to take the glue off before it dries, it'll make a like a hole or a problem. So you don't want that. So I'd really like. So I'm gonna figure out to put probably a little bit more of that white pine on the back to give it like a, almost like a stand so it doesn't wobble. Um, I'm gonna figure that out. Maybe not today, but I am gonna figure that out. So I kind of like all that I have in there because um, I don't want to take away from everything else. So I think I'm gonna leave that as is. Um, and I have a few more little pieces of that if um, if I feel it needs it. Um, but now I think the only other thing I have is the mag, uh, the last Magnolia. Um, I'm not even sure if I need it. Um, but I do like the idea of putting it right down in here, kind of facing outward. Um, and I love the leaves on this. They're pretty realistic and the back is brown. So it's hard to find. Um, good magnolias, and it's really hard to find good leaves. A lot of artificial greenery. Um, yeah, a lot of artificial greenery can have really yucky looking uh, leaves. So, so what I'm thinking is that this. I'm gonna figure out where it goes. This is going to go up in there. Okay. And just so that it pokes out on that side. the way 
up in there. So then the bow, you know, just so that there's another little pink something right there, I think. No? I don't think that's right now. Mm. So I don't know if any of you ever have this, these same struggles, but. So I think maybe I like that better. Because. Hmm. I'm covering the little white leaf. I love this white leaf. I don't want it to be covered. So there. Maybe like that. We'll see. Okay. I'm thinking that maybe I don't want it there. Maybe it should just go here so that it's on the side. <laughs> I think that might actually help balance it out. Let's see. Well, that didn't. Does a little, I think. Okay, I'm gonna put it up there. Hi, excuse me. Mm -hmm. All right. Put this guy up here. All right. So I like that. Got a fern. That's fine. It can go like that. All right, that's really pretty. I just love those flowers so much. They are my favorite. So this one is the light colored one that I am not going to use. So I can't reach that. So I don't know if this needs any other little tails. Sometimes it's hard to decide. Um, I'm going to make one or two and just see. So kind of like this. I was thinking, but then again, it'll take away from, so I could put another one in, like it act like it's coming from the bow. I actually think it's okay. Anyone have any differ, different thoughts? And then these that are still sticking out, I'm going to probably just trim. What do you think? I think it's pretty cute. It's pretty. I love the, I like the colors. It's non-traditional fall. So usually what I do, um, <laughs> if you haven't watched me before, is I like to um, create, if I'm, I'm not 100% sure, I mean, I love it, but I'm not 100% sure if I'm done. I need to rearrange things or add anything else so I am going to sit with it maybe a day or two and look at it <laughs> and look at it and then decide um, on what I'm gonna do with um, you know do I add anything else I feel like some of the fall leaves now like that's the only one I think you can see so I might cut out some of the leaves that you can't see and stick them in places where you can. But for now, um, I'm gonna leave it as is, I think, and sit with it. And then if I don't have any changes or if I do, I'll post pictures on what I ended up with and the link to Etsy. So, I like that ribbon a lot. All right, so here's what it looks like. So there's the sticks and there's that top magnolia, which I think is pretty. And so like some of these white pine, I, I'm probably gonna either cut off or, or tuck in there, I think. Um, I don't mind the white because I think it kind of brings all the color together. I think uh, it's really pretty. I love it. I love these little vine guys too. 
So that's what we have. All right, so stay tuned. I'll let you know what I do end up doing with it. And thank you so much for joining. Hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye.